Hello, hello, hello everybody. Welcome to another FM Signals Info Show edition, another technic another 48 hours technical analysis and synthesis. My name is still Damagaj from Good Old Germany and you are welcome to another even to another uh, cross rate or cross pair tonight, Central European time of course. I'm choosing the pound Canadian dollar. So I'll analyze the stuff again, it's still yours. Okay traders, it's uh, Wednesday evening, 90.28 Central European time, I'm, I lost, I've got here some technical problems, I lost here my clocks on my browser, so by the way, uh, you've got to, what is saying is you've got to believe what I'm saying, <laughs> yes I'm sure I'm laughing because I'm usually also quite skeptical but however it's 19 oops come back guys oh, come back my crosshead however let's start again it's 1929 on the 14th March 2012 Wednesday here is the pound K, uh, Canada dollar five minute chart uh, next week <coughs> I will also create uh, cross rates and then I will also or always try to make some analysis of course in only in five minute charts uh, many traders are asking me why I'm or it was a little bit confused sometimes I'm yes I understand uh, sometimes I'm using daily charts weekly charts monthly four weeks so on so on I will create a new design over the weekend or I created last weekend and since next week I will create a new design and tell you how, when and in with time frames I will create my technical analysis. By the way it will be five minutes only even for the next 48 hours. So by the way. Okay here's the pound Canada dollar a great opportunity in my opinion here we see an unusually uh, development uh, important for me are these two uh, lines here after the fall here uh, start of the week or the end of last week the low of last week if you want and then the first high this week here the sideway trend and then here fades break out on the downside one two three and one two on the buff side three this time and we are here on the, on the third try to break out from the sideway trend by the way here I painted in on channel through so it's looking even like yeah better or oh, here we see it even better one two three phase break out on the downside one two three on the buff side and we are here right here right now trading on the buff side and perhaps it could be an even a signal for a long entry. So I would prefer the long side. Let me say honestly, trade for a breakout. Here we, here if we see better. Here yes, here we see the last uh, five minutes of last week. So this week wasn't quite. Yes, on a weekly chart, Doji or something like that. But uh, yeah, I would prefer the long side here. Would create a stop here on the here on the end of the channel by 154.90. So we've got 70 or if we go along uh, here 70 pips on the downside. So and hopefully to end of the week enough space here to go up. Perhaps here not much, not much from technical view. Perhaps here new highs one two. And perhaps the third one this week here, perhaps. So about 156, of course, at least. So that's a signal from today. Perhaps to come to an end here, I'm putting also the FIBO lines of. Oops, excuse me. 
got a great, great meal <laughs> for a while, excuse me. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, however, here to come to an end, uh, here are the FIBO lines. Here we see the lows this week. Here the lows, the 23, 06, and the 38, high low of this week. And here uh, the middle, so the mid price of this week, uh, this month. And that should be the target, in my opinion. Here around about. Uh, 156.31 that should be the target so we've got here 80 points six, 80 points above 70 down uh, great opportunity so analyze the stuff again it's still yours wherever it goes so here okay guys that's all thanks for watching have a great time great evening talking to you tomorrow bye bye